You're right, there, YouTube, it is Kakoon again, bringing you another gameplay. <laughs> Coming down, man, we're here again, bring you some more Modern Warfare 3 like I do. Going to be playing the 6v6 domination on the map, Overwatch, using the ACR with a, a suppressor on it, and I believe I've got the kick proficiency. Perk set up, Slight of Ampro, Hardline Pro, Marksman, Reaper, the pay no, the Reaper, the AC-130, and the Osprey Gunner. Boom! Beasting like I do, man. Sorry if I sound a bit excited in my voice and everything like that. But uh, I am now an elite paying customer. So that now gives me the advantage to be able to play on all the new DLC elite drops. Something along these lines. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. But I am, right? Fact of matter. Literally, second game on Overwatch. I ain't going to fucking lie to you, mate. I mean, Bentley will probably say in the description. or not in the description. In the comments below. Yo! This is like the second or third map. Uh, match, not map, match, playing Overwatch, the guy's a legit beast, beast, but uh, yeah man, I beast him off, doing it like I do, because I mean, that's what I do, I'm just a beast, I'm a beast man, any map, any map, it doesn't matter, I rape, it's what I do, Jesus, I mean I'm a minute 13 into the gameplay and I've already picked up my reaper, you know what I'm saying, I'm a beast people, so uh, anyway, moving on with it right, the fact of the matter is, yeah, I've got the map, so I mean, I'm now going to get back to my original roots, and if you're a new subscriber to my channel, I assume you more than likely are. Uh, well, yeah, you might be, you might not be. I mean, if you remember back to my original days and you've been subscribed to me since Black Ops, you'll know that within Black Ops, I used to just post, well, once the first DLC got released, I used to just post pure DLC, I'd post... Even though, even though there was only four maps, I'd post just the four maps constantly. Four maps, because at that time in Black Ops, that's what that's what I think people kind of wanted. They wanted like they wanted the more like the newer maps, you know. They wanted to learn the skill set on the newer maps, and I don't know. All in all, I just prefer to see it. And I mean, personally, who doesn't want to see that? Who doesn't want to see a map like this? I mean, look at that view. It's it's astonishing. This map, it really does look like amazing map kind of gone back to its high-rise roots except graphically wise it's got so much more on high-rise but seriously I really do love it but unfortunately as in most situations with the elite playlist better players less air support up in the air you know stuff getting shut down everything like that but just have a look at the scenery from the Osprey Gunner you can have a look at like the overview of the map and everything like that and I don't know, this was kind of just like, I don't know, this is just going to be like an off the off the top of my head kind of commentary today. I will, like, I, once I get down to it, I mean, he only got Elite yesterday and it's Tuesday, you know, it's Wednesday today, sorry, and I got it on Tuesday night. So, I mean, I've only had it for like literally a day. So, I'm not really at the stage where I can start talking about, oh, Elite membership and what's going wrong, what's good about it, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not really, like, informed enough to make, like, a full decision about every single one of the maps and like parts about the maps and stuff like that but you know how it is it doesn't mean that i'm not going to bring you any more gameplays like from the original maps and that it's just that once i like once now that i've got elite and everything like that i really do feel like going back to my original roots of just posting pure dlc content only and if you don't believe me just uh just go back to my channel and just have a look through my videos like going back to black ops and stuff like that you'll just see there's like uh, there's a line and then you'll just see like from that line it just goes to the first DLC and you've just got like all the DLC map names all listed there and that's what I like to do I kind of like to be first on getting the beasting gameplays on the DLC maps that was the way you kind of saw it and there uh, as usual I mean you've got to take one death off the side of the map I mean that's a given if I didn't die off the side of the map there I probably would have gone like 38 to 1 but I mean, I probably would have got more kills as well, but you take it for what it is. I was desperately trying to hit the fighters in this, but you take it for what it is. But talking a little bit about the maps now and what I've what I've learned from it so far. As I said, I'm not really informed enough to make like an overall decision about which map's the best, which is like the best for these kind of setups. You know, different kill streak setups, different perk setups. Whatever it is, different weapons, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really that informed yet because I've not had that much hands-on time to try all the armory, like, try all these different combinations across the board and stuff like that. So, at the moment, what I'm just basing myself on is, like, what I've played of the map so far. And what I've played of the map so far, I mean, Overwatch is a beast. It's literally a beast. You can understand why they released Overwatch as a one. 
instead of like doing it as they did with like DLC 1 and 2. Because DLC drop 1 and 2, ju even though I wasn't in Elite, I know about it, right? DLC drop 1 and 2 was a. Uh, there's my second death as well. Got bullshit out of there. He should have died in him. Sorry, but. But anyway, DLC drop 1 and 2. They released him two, two maps on the same day at the same time, pretty much. And then, uh, like, on top of that. For Overwatch, he just dropped one of them like that, and maybe it was like a bit a strategical business plan or some shit like that. I don't know. I've been speaking about it, and like you know how they get that guy. I can't remember. It's called Jason, Jason Bateman or something like that. I think that's the guy. But uh, he does all these like, you know, he comes out with the adverts like the new DLC Modern Warfare 3. He's, Are you a noob? You know all this kind of jibberwocky whatever he's talking about, and then. I just think about stuff like that and I think like it's pretty obvious that he doesn't come out every single time to film a new advertisement for Modern Warfare 3. Making me believe that all of these advertisements that they're making seem like it's brand spanking new have already all been filmed. All the maps have already been pre-planned out of when they're going to release. Tra -la, 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 la whatever you want to say like that. There's more stuff going on behind the scenes that they know about that we're not privy to the information. I mean... That's straightforward enough, so, I don't know, but you can clearly see, right, moving back to what I was saying, you can clearly see why they released Overwatch as a one map, like, drop DLC or whatever you want, DLC drop, because the map is a beast, all honestly, the map is a straight beast, it's just, I don't know, there's something about the way the map forms and the way it flows and everything like that, I was, uh, I don't know, I was trying to think of, like, a way to describe it or something like that, but, like I said before, it's kind of got, like, the length of high high rise and then you've got like the interchanging levels so i mean in high rise there's only like pretty much two levels there's an underground and there's an upper but instead of what they've done now is they've made the underground more of an open span so it goes the width of the map and then the upper is kind of like the main hot deck of where just all the murderous action just goes on on the upper floor and then essentially I think like the lower floor is just to tra uh, to traverse the whole map and everything like that and just be able to get yourself around. I'm not saying any action doesn't happen on the on the lower level but I'm just saying majority of the time your action's gonna go on on the upper level around the main kind of like circular arena bit uh, all around B. So uh, I don't know I'm trying to figure out my words and everything like that but you know how I say it like that you can kind of see now you're having a look from the reaper and stuff like that you can see like the width of high rise and where it goes to C and A and like instead it's interesting really because they've still got that kind of concept there as in both C and A have got multiple entrances to get to him but no matter what they're still both of the flags are relatively open and I mean it's not as open as it was I mean, it's more open than it is in high rise. If you think about it, yeah, this map is kind of like high rise, but not fully built yet. If you know what I'm saying, like that. If this map was like with design and everything like that, it would f if it was to be fully built, it'll be all enclosed and like that. It's kind of like an unfinished high rise, if you get what I'm saying, like that. So, here we shoot down this, uh, shoot down this Osprey gunner. I mean, Mr. OG was like, shoot down the Osprey gunner. I was like, what? What? Shoot down the Osprey gun? And then I just saw it like fly onto my screen. I was like, oh! Alright, so I took that bastard down. But anyway, I finished up the game. I should have disclosed. I was winning with my boy, Benny2595, X Mr. OG. Uh, beasting like I do, man. Dropping 38 to 2 new maps, like second gameplay ever on Overwatch. Beasting because I am a beast. That's what I do. But uh, also, on top of that, streaming tonight, 7 o'clock. Check your link in the description if you want to come down and see the stream and everything. I should have mentioned it at a goddamn start. Whatever. If you're a loyal fan and you watch it to the end, you'll know what it is. But uh, peace.